Hello everyone, uh, thanks for finding my YouTube channel and um, I always welcome new topics and I've got one today for you and I hope you like it. A lady wrote to me about a month ago and she said, when you're in the gym working out and you look next door you know, to the next machine and you see this person who is a wonderful specimen, looks really, really fit, um, she said, I sometimes have feelings of envy. What should I do about it? Well, uh, that's been in my inbox for about a month. So every day I see it and I have a little think and the more I think about it, the more interesting I think the topic is. As you probably know, envy has long been regarded as one of the seven deadly sins. And I think it is deadly because um, it's a negative emotion. It comes from the reptile brain, which we're all very familiar with. And it, uh, the reason why it's a deadly sin is because it causes stress. It makes people feel dissatisfied and frustrated. And sooner or later, um, that will result in illness because that's just the way the body works. So um, it's not an emotion that I'd recommend to anybody, uh, except we are all human beings and we're prone to it. But the good thing about envy, well, before I move on, let me just say, uh, talk about uh, this lady who was looking at the person on the next machine in the gym and envying that person for some physical aspect. The first thing, of course, is that we should never judge anybody as being very desirable or being very undesirable because that's just a personal preference and we'll all have differences. That person next to the lady in the gym, uh, many people would find um, not attractive, whereas others would find very attractive. And that's why most people on this planet, they come in all shapes and sizes and different colors and, and beliefs and everything else. Uh, sooner or later, most of these people find a partner and get married or, um, or uh, tie a knot in some other way. So there's somebody for everyone. So never forget that we're a diverse species. So it's a pretty pointless um, emotion envy. It's pretty pointless envying something for, uh, that somebody else has that other people might not even want themselves. But there is a positive aspect to this. You see, envy is, um, I've, well, I've been studying NLP for about 12 years, and it's probably taken me about 12 years to begin to understand what I might have got from it. And one thing I've learned is the importance of language and the effect that this can have on our thoughts. And um, when we have a thought, we're only one thought away from a better thought. So here's envy. There's a word. Um, comes up, come, uh, conjures up all kinds of uh, negative connotations. And yet it's close to another secret of NLP, which is modeling. That means if somebody's got something that you really want, even if mistakenly so, then you too can have it. The positive strategy is to study that person, that's called modeling, because if they can do it, then there's a very high chance that you can too. So uh, if you want a wonderful fit body by going to the gym, what's this person on the next machine doing? They're probably turning up every day. They may have their own personal trainer. They might, may have their own routines. Uh, they may have determination and they may have willpower. You don't know. By the way, I don't think willpower is very useful for people either. People either genuinely want to do something or they don't. And if people force themselves to do something, then um, it's, uh, you know, that, that again is a source of stress. So there you are, envy. Um, it is a seven de deadly sin, but if you just twist it a little bit, it can be one of the seven secrets of success. So one for you to think about. I hope it might just help you and keep those ideas coming in. I've been putting uh, videos on YouTube for over 10 years now and I'm beginning to run out of subjects. So it's much easier if somebody suggests one. So thanks again for supporting the channel. Uh, another video coming soon. Uh, just remember, put your head in the right place and the rest of your body will follow. Goodbye.